I was up late. Um, I have to take uh, somebody to the airport in early this morning. And I did a lot of studying on the Haney Lomachenko fight. Now, we are still waiting for that fight to get signed. But it looks like it's probably going to happen, right? Like Ryan Tank, right? Right? So, assuming that it's happening, because I do think it does, but I think Haney's just playing the A side. He's just, you know, you know what they said about the Last Supper. You know what they say about ex, -con you know, convicts that are on death row. You have to feed them whatever they want before you execute them. And that's what Lomachenko's doing. You want more money? Here you go. You want to pick the location? Go ahead. It's yours. <clears throat> you want to tell me the date? Here you go. I'm going to feed you everything you want. Then I'm going to execute you. That's the first thing I was going to tell you. Something just struck me here. And we have been touching on it a little bit as we've been talking and whatnot. But it just hit me, like, to the extent that it kind of, an I don't want to say an epiphany, but maybe even made it, you know, made me think even a little bit more that Lomachenko is going to dominate this kid, okay? So I went back and watched the Richard Comey fight, and... Richard Comey is roughly, not exactly, but roughly the same size as Devin Haney. He's not as good of a boxer as Devin Haney, but he's not as fast as Devin Haney. But Richard Comey can punch. You can say whatever you want about Richard Comey. He is the former lightweight IBF champion, right? And he could punch, okay? And he landed some good shots, especially specifically to the body on Lomachenko. And he didn't even fucking put a dent in Loma. Okay? Tiafimo Lopez, same thing. Tiafimo did buzz Lomachenko a couple of times in that fight. But he can fucking punch, son. Especially, maybe not so much at 140. I still think he has power at 140, but maybe it's not as as sufficient as it was at 135. But at 135, Teofimo could punch, bro. Okay? And he did buzz Loma a couple of times, but he never really put a dent in him like that. Not really. Right? So, feather-fisted Devin Haney. I, bro, he's not going to be able to keep Lomachenko off of him. And I've been studying this fight a lot. Some of the positions that Devin Haney comes out of after the clinch is going to leave him, him open for hooks and straight left hands for Lomachenko. And he is going to get sliced up, people. I, I'm telling you right now. And I've been telling you since day one that Lomachenko is going to school Devin Haney. And he is going, it's going to look a lot, and I mean, not obviously different styles, but it's going to, as far as domination wise, it's going to be like a Bavol Canelo, people. He's going to really hurt Devin Haney bad. And it, it, it's, we all know Devin Haney's a little chinny. Jojo Diaz, who's not a big puncher, buzzed him a lot in that fight. Linares, who can punch, had him holding on for dear life. And speaking of both the Jojo Diaz and the Linares fights, those fights were a lot closer than people remember. Those were 7-5-8-4 type of fights for Devin Haney. He didn't dominate them at all whatsoever. And if you're if you're letting an older Linares, who doesn't have his feet anymore like he did against Lomachenko, who doesn't have the output and the volume like he did against Lomachenko, hurt you and have you holding on for dear life, my brother, Loma is going to 
give you some, put some pain on you. You understand? And Jojo Diaz, same thing, featherweight, southpaw. And Jojo Diaz isn't Lomachenko, okay? And he can't punch. Jojo Diaz can't punch, all right? He is going to put some pain on Devin Haney, bro. And I'm telling you this. I, I, I was just studying this fight for about three hours, okay? Some of the positions that Devin Haney leaves himself open in when he's coming off the clinch after he throws a shot you know, I can, I'm going to get into more specifics about this later on. But he leaves himself open a lot for shit that Lomachenko is very, very good at. And I'm telling you right now that Jermaine Ortiz gave Lomachenko a tougher fight than Devin Haney is going to. Okay? I'm going to get back to studying now. Like I say, I got to take somebody to the airport in a couple of hours but I just had these thoughts in my head, and I wanted to share them real quick. I know it's late, but God bless everybody, and have a wonderful morning. Take care, and hit the like and subscribe.